than the controversial call that reversed what would have been a buzzer-beating win for a New Jersey high school basketball team. Tonight we have a decision from the Department of Education after Manasquan High School appealed what happened. CBS 2's Christine Sloan is live in Manasquan. Christine, what is the verdict? Well, Dick, the Department of Education says it will not review the game and the decision that Camden won stands. But the Manasquan School District says that they are appealing this in the courts and now focusing on the girls basketball team that is going to the championships. Fortunately, because of what's transpired, it's only our girls, and I want to wish them the best tomorrow because the community is 100% behind them. The decision coming down from the Department of Education Friday saying, quote, the commissioner cannot find the official's decision regarding the basket was anything other than a judgment call and that the NJSIAA rules clearly state that once an official has made a judgment call, no appeals will be honored. The commissioner adding, even if the official's decision was not correct. The district now filing a last minute appeal to stop Camden from playing Newark Arts High School on Saturday. There's always hope that the appellate division will put a stay order on the game tomorrow, but I don't anticipate that happening, but there's always a chance. The appeal based on the game watched by many. The superintendent says the referees first calling the game for Manasquan, then saying Camden won under the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association rules. Once officials exit the court, the game is over. Riley Eldridge is the boys basketball team's statistician. I sent one of our coaches a picture of it because it actually says at the bottom I put final score and I put 47 to 46 and then I got up and started cheering and just never had time to change it after that. The follow-up basket was thrown before the buzzer sounded. Manasquan students say members of the boys team are heartbroken. If the right call was made, like right away, like it would be settled. But now it's just such a deep, like hole, deep rabbit hole you got to get into. I find it sad because the boys worked really hard to get to where they are today, and they deserved it a lot. People can decide for themselves. I mean, this is just we're gotten absolutely robbed. We should be playing tomorrow. And the, school, the superintendent of school says that he wishes Camden the best of luck. It is not the players. It is not about the pair players on that team, he says. Now, Camden plays Newark's Arts High School on Saturday. That is unless the decision is overturned right before the game. And Newark says they're fine with whatever decision is made. We're live in Manasquan, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Christine, thank you.